And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, walking up to greet you under his own power. What would Electro, the 1930s robot, think of us now? I can always blame the operator. Well, he's almost human. We're still waiting for those robot butlers. Come on, let's go home, Rosie. And maids yes, ma like Rosie. They were certain that we'd be on Mars by now. Matt Novak's blog, paleofuture.com, takes a look at the future from yesterday's eyes. I started thinking about this idea when I was a little kid. Progress can be accurately checked on a synchronized scanning map. Some predictions Matt writes about actually came true, like GPS navigation, big screen TV, and online shopping. This video console will be channeled into the store of her choice. Our grandfathers may have had the technology right, but... There's no vision of social progress, so mom is still in the kitchen. Uh, and dad is still shaking his head at what mom is spending his money, you know. Father to his office, mother and son to the shopping center. The future we were promised wasn't exactly what we got. One of my favorite ideas of the future was the video phone. Mr. Spacely? Mr. Spacely is still using a video phone booth in the year 2062. But in 2010, we have pocket phones that do basically the same thing. This prediction is pretty spot on. The electronic home library. Advances in technology will give us more time for leisure in tomorrow's living. That was the promise of the 1950s and 60s, was that you'd work three hours a week. I don't know, boys. Give me the good old days. This 1930 film that was way off. Guy awakes from a 50-year slumber from 1930, wakes up in 1980. There's a cafe there. He's popping meal pills. Here you are, boy. To wrap yourself around that. What do you want, a boy or a girl? A boy. And nobody ever replaced sex with this thing. That's the future. Babies and vending machines. <laughs> I'm fascinated by sort of the cycles of optimistic versus pessimistic. In the 1970s, many people thought we were headed for doom. We live in an age of anxiety and time of stress. There's sort of this fear of technology that the future is coming too quickly. Such experiments are probably just around the corner. The same kinds of fears are popping up today. We tend to be in more of a pessimistic cycle right now. And Electro does exactly what I tell him to do. No matter the time period, the future is never quite as fantastic as they promise, and never as bad either. Scientists are now warning us of terrible dangers from outer space. 1982. If you tell someone, well, uh, in 10 years, we'll have made modest advances in medical science and we'll have a slightly better phone, uh, that's not quite as sexy as you want to hear when you're talking about the future. This is an age when at last all things seem possible. And it still is. Reporting from the future, Dave Malkoff, KTLA 5 News.